Good morning, Eagle Nation. Today is Monday, May 18th, 2020, and I am coming to you from central Minnesota at Big Candy, Ohio Lake in Lake Lillian, Minnesota. Uh, we are at the family cabin, and we're trying distance learning at a true distance. But let's highlight our amazing eighth grader for the day on this Monday. It is Mr. Henry Queenan, and look at those locks. I love that picture, Mr. Queenan. It looks like you have had amazing hair from day one. Henry might seem like a quiet kid at first, but just do you wait. He is ready to throw down on his knowledge of history and his hairstyling best practices as he goes to De La Salle next year. We hope Henry continues his to hone his acting skills in theater at D, as well as his amazing hoop game. We can't wait to see what you do, Henry. Henry has been such an honor uh, to work with you these last three years, uh, watching you in theater and on the basketball court. Uh, you are truly a well-rounded student. Congratulations to you. All right, let's go to the rest of our morning announcements. Are well, looking out the window today where I am, it's going to be mostly sunny with a high of 64. And I think the rain is just wrapping up in the cities um, and will be a beautiful day as well. Happy birthday today to Mr. Cayenne Franco and Miss Julia Williams. I hope it's a fabulous day for you both. Saints of the day is St. John the First, who served as Pope for about three years before he died of maltreatment at the hands of the emperor's men. He had to face the Aryan controversy and negotiate with the eastern part of the empire concerning the treatment of heretics. This day in history, in 1860, Abraham Lincoln is nominated for president at the Republican Convention. Abraham Lincoln, a one-time U.S. rep from Illinois, is nominated for the U.S. presidency by the Republican National Convention meeting in Chicago, Illinois. Thought of the day is brought to us by Marianne Williamson. Success means we go to sleep at night knowing that our talents and abilities were used in a way that served others. I love that. Bringing peace. And our joke of the day, which bus crossed the ocean? Which bus crossed the ocean? Columbus. Columbus. <laughs> okay. All right. I really have to apologize for my cabin here now. But for pledge and prayer... I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Mary, Our Lady of Peace, you show us how to be Christian, how to follow Jesus, and how to hear the word of God and keep it. Help us respond to God as you did. May his power work in us. May the Holy Spirit form Christ in us, and may Jesus' mind, heart, and will be ours. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, let's put this cabin here. Put that away. I'm a peace builder. I pledge to praise people, to give up put-downs, to seek wise people, to notice and speak up about hurts I have caused, to right wrongs and to help others. I will build peace at home, at school, and in my community each day. All right, Eagle Nation, I hope you all have a marvelous Monday and enjoy your day. Eighth graders, you have four more days to go. Uh, the rest of us, ELP through seventh grade, we're almost there two weeks ago. We got this, work hard, spread peace. I miss you. Uh, and I'm always thinking and praying about you, but have a marvelous Monday.